Thank you. As Mobile County continues to recover from Hurricane Sally, cities and residents have already started preparing for Delta. NBC 15's Laura Barczewski is in Mobile tonight with the continued cleanup and preparation efforts underway. Laura? Kim, both officials and residents tell me they're not even close to being fully recovered from Hurricane Sally, and they're very worried what another storm could do to their homes and families that have already been through so much. Mobile County EMA Deputy Director Michael Evans says even though Hurricane Sally is still on everyone's minds, he wants the public to start preparing for the possibility of another storm. We got a couple of days. Now's the time to do the fleecing up around your home. You know, any loose furniture, any debris that you can do something with, go ahead and take care of all that now. Mobile Public Works Executive Director Jim DeLapp says in the city of Mobile, they estimate they've cleaned up about half of the debris Sally left behind, but there's still about two more weeks of work to go. We've picked up a lot of the debris. We've also taken down a lot of the damaged trees. And we've actually cut and removed over 4,000 dangling limbs around the city. So we've made a lot of progress, but the public needs to continue to be aware that there's a threat and a potential that a tree that may have made it through the last storm still could come down during this next storm. Mobile residents like the Clements family who had extensive damage to their home due to falling trees are concerned what another storm could do. We're preparing the best we can, but you know, mostly the rain's what we're concerned with. Of course, wind too, you know, the best we can do is cover it up and hope. As they prepare, they like many other families are trying to be strong. Real tough, it's been tough, but that's what families do. You know, take each day piece at a time. Now is the time to restock your disaster kits and separate and get your debris out to the curbs so crews can pick up as much as they can in the coming days. Reporting live in Mobile, Laura Barcheski, NBC 15 News.